They say that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but me personally, I don't buy it. In the past few weeks alone, I've taught my dog a beautiful five and a half year old rescue to lie down, to come when called, to stop jumping at the door, to shake a paw, and to pant vigorously whenever she hears that Prince song, Housequake. Now, why am I talking about my dog? I mean, beyond the annoying propensity of dog owners to exclusively talk about their dogs? Well, it's because the city of Brassard on the south shore of Montreal is moving to enact a ban on pit bulls and pit bull type dogs following a dog attacking a young girl last year. This sort of breed specific legislation is all too common and it's especially common when dealing with pit bulls or dogs who just look like pit bulls who have suffered a nasty reputation thanks in part to their tough guy appearance and their central role in illegal dog fighting rings like the one run by pro footballer Michael Vick. Pit bulls and similar breeds have been banned in Ontario since 2005 and yet, as of this year, the number of dog bites in Toronto alone has increased. Maybe pit bulls aren't the problem. Breed-specific dog bans are the laziest kind of legislation. Instead of educating pet owners or helping them to deal with higher energy breeds, we just exclude those breeds outright. Instead of helping to teach the public that these dogs are beautiful and friendly and that there are friends, laws like this feed into the idea that they're somehow prima facie dangerous and violent. Granted, dogs like this are often used and even bred for nefarious purposes and taught to be violent, but this just further proves my point. I mean, you can call me an old softy if you want, but I believe that there are no bad dogs, just bad dog owners and bad lawmakers.